what's up y'all youtube my peoples oh look at that nice golden apple snail right here anyway it's actually a channeled apple snail it's just gold anyway so you see the quarry right there that came from the guy that um i got my tanks from down there is a um it's either a type of darter or a, um it's got a bigger mouth than a darter so like uh what is it a sculpin or something not really possible <coughs> <coughs> that's on the very bottom down there in the sand and you see my liar tails um, I believe they would call these green liar tails because they're native mixed with a platinum. That's a rosy. That's a getting bagel. Looks like a goldfish almost. You can see my goldfish. Anyway, so we got back from down south and we noticed our water level dropping fast. I got snail eggs everywhere. Unfortunately, it's going to make things really difficult. Okay, so my water level's been dropping quick. It was underneath the halfway point this morning. We filled it, and it's already back down. So, what we have to find out right now... Here's Venus. Let's see how well it's doing. The pictures are dying. I haven't fed these in a couple weeks either. But it's been growing, uh, damn, it lost all of those new ones. I have fed shit. I need to cover it. I think that helps them. Anyway, I need to feed everybody. Water levels. Huh. I do not see. It's bright for y'all. But there was a bristlenose plucko in there. No, I don't see him. In fact, he's about the size that a uh, goldfish would eat him. I hope not. That sucks. Been watching him in there for a couple weeks. All right. Well, that's exactly why we're taking care of this issue tonight. Um, I gotta do some rearranging. I don't know where I'm putting fish. So I've got a leak. I forget now why I came over here to this side to show y'all something. <laughs> Leak could be coming from anywhere really. Um, it is down in there though. I mean, the, wherever the actual leak, unless, oh, tubing. Tubing. So we gotta check all of this. Going around, going around. Nothing actually looks like wet down in here. Oh, I forgot I moved that. Trying to keep these things alive. <clears throat> yeah, we'll stick that there. Maybe that'll help. Keep them alive. Um. So really what we're looking for is just some sort of leaking. <sighs> Moist ground um excess moisture and it doesn't look like anything's leaking you see the cheap tubing i used that was honestly i just threw this together um somebody left a pond pump for one of the small little plastic kiddie pools and it had a pump that would go in the side somebody left that on the side of the road so i took the pump i took the tubing and all that stuff um Well, uh, that one's getting away. Anyway, so I took all the uh, the tubing and stuff, and that's where that is, along with a um, two straight tubes for a um, vacuum. Um, yeah. So we're gonna thing has a leak. Found that out a couple nights ago. You like the garden? I just redid all this. Elephant ears getting big. Things just shot up this year. I'm probably gonna have to move it further away from the house. Uh, 
my these things looked wonderful and dog dug dug and dug so we've had to replant these multiple times multiple times uh, this stuff I don't want to kill my um, no, that stuff uh, so put this throw it back that way that's what I don't want to lose alright so we're going to pull this guy Probably not. All right, y'all. So, what I'm gonna say, I'll be right there. Keep an eye on it real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna show y'all real quick before we, before I go check that out. So I got my seeds for uh, rose mallow hibiscus. Got these things all down my fence line. We're gonna put this in the backyard and actually utilize it. Um, we got to figure out this snail population or uh, tadpole population situation and I'm gonna separate them out I am gonna try to look at a couple watch them grow up see exactly how they change as they get older because these aren't tadpoles I have all the time I would like them all the time but um but yeah all right well uh let's go do that Actually, let's check out the frog. So we do have a couple green ones. Wonder where she saw that thing. We do have a couple green ones that hang out up here. I don't see this one though. Let's see if you can see this. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Right here. Right here. They're so dirty when uh, raising flies. So that's a uh, praying mantis. The little one that was on my arm up in North Carolina. I brought him back, I've been feeding it, and it is five times the size it was. Alright guys, let's go uh, move some stuff. Hey guys, what's up? How's my YouTube friends doing? Um, so, as you can see, the things from NC kind of died back. I got a little bit of here. I don't know what's going on with this. It's a totally different shape than uh, that, in my opinion. But maybe it's just coming back, you know? Um, anyway, what we're addressing... Ah, not much to address now. So right here's my crack. This is what we were addressing, and I just actually got all the rocks out. I said, oh, why don't we turn this into a video? I was going to take all the fish out. But I think now... I'm just going to wipe that down. Um... Damn. All right, well. Easy fix. Um, really, I thought this was gonna be more of a video, more than just a couple minutes. Right now, I can just pull a tube, we can flush it out. In fact, I can clean that filter at the same time. No big deal. Um, awesome. That right there could essentially suck down little fish um they open and close as the heat and the temperatures um adjust so some days it, it drains a lot more others it you know from the bottom of the fountain over there 
um, to where it is now happens overnight. Um, it, so it varies. Like some nights, like, this is much weird. Oh, there's just hell of a lot. All right, so um, geez. smokers putting that bullshit everywhere. Um, yeah. Um, I've been feeding my um ornate my um varanus stellatus these snails there's tons of them i haven't used the pointed ones yet just because of the shape of their shell um i mean i know he bites these and they shatter or whatever it should be fine but i just haven't um and i also haven't used my neurite snails i <clears throat> let me speak more clearly okay so crawling down in here I have not used my neurite snails. These came from the uh, river, and they don't really reproduce in here, so they have a cool little striping to them kind of deal. Um, see the fish are super friendly. They expect me to be hand feeding them. Um, but all these uh, ram's horn, I love these things. But now I love them even more because I can collect them. And unfortunately, I toss these out to calcium for the plants. All right, so you see my snail eggs, they're between the dogs and whatever else hits them. Um, those are dying somewhat too. I've got a clutch on my aquarium that um, I, yeah, I pulled a leaf and that snail died after she laid them because she didn't get back in the pond. Lips kind of uh, a big deal and rocks just kind of absorb in, so I, I don't do that anymore. Spider moss, moss seems to work well. So that going all the way around could be a factor, but this shit, I'm paying five bucks a bag, and that's two bags right there, a uh, bag and a half. So you gotta reapply it. Uh, and then on top of the bag and a quarter, or maybe that's just a full bag. I don't even know that's there. Um, I love, I love that stuff. But every time I get it, it starts growing these things. And you wanna know what these things are? These things are that thing in the pot that my waterfall hits. The tube grass. Um, I, I don't know what that is, but it's some swamp plant. See, I got a flower about to bloom. Um, mm, I gotta move these guys so they don't get broken. Dogs will destroy. Oh, we can put them here. <clears throat> Dogs will destroy this shit. Anyway, so snails here. Ram's horn. Coolest, coolest out of the pond snails in my opinion. Uh, I like the channel snails too. Channeled apple are pretty neat. Um, and we've got a gas station down the road I can get those. I just like getting um, different genetics when I go out. If I can find different genetics and mix and match colors. Um, yeah. Once they've reproduced a couple times, actually, really, one generation, uh, I start seeing um, the albinos and the, the, the golden ones. So, um, yeah, let's let's get this drained and see what we can do. Let's change the plans. We're gonna shorten this like drastically, because uh, you know I'm not gonna edit it and put the time lapse in the middle. Well, I might, but not on this video. Anyway, you can see the Venus flytrap over here too. Those are cool. Um, and something else that's how in its first bloom. I've had this for like two or three years in here. It was just really coming up and blooming. Anyway, okay, so because of all the plants, I've actually got some grass in here. I don't know if the GoPro will pick all this up down in there. Um, I've, this stuff is doing really well not really covered in a lot of algae like that wow that's like looks like a moss ball but it's really more similar to the um, that's a grass that you know, like a uh, hair grass that over it's just really just takes over my tanks um, but it's growing more similar to a moss ball right now which is kind of neat um, damn I wonder if I get snails out of this. Um, I may keep that. I may hold on to it. I bet the tadpoles will eat it. In fact, I can get the snails out of it. 
still a few inside it. I will, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go put that in there. This room's a bit chaotic here. You get a sneak peek of Tank. I haven't shown him very much. You can see his tail's been healing, but he is not very mobile. We're having a hand feed him. I actually had a um, my mercury light on, but right now it's on the frog tadpole tank. Not the bowl, but the uh, fixture. And I've got an another tadpole tank in the living room. Um, anyway, so this is what I've been doing. Getting him some more light. Heating him up. I'm going to toss this in there like that. Just let it sink a little. But as you can see, they're still, they're real small, they need more heat, and I've been slowly, not slowly, more than half are gone already, because there was just this bucket was over, just overloaded with these guys, literally, I mean, pretty crazy, you see mosquitoes starting to reproduce in here, I just mush them, anyway, um, see tank, I turned his tank, or not tank, this is chomp, I turned Chomp's tank around because the plants were starting to grow in awkward, funky directions. Um, this is probably getting pretty close to propagating, and I'll probably just keep redoing that in here because it's acclimated to an aquarium right now. Um, got my other ones down here, as you can kind of see. Um, they all need to be watered. Raven's easy, black, completely black. Only new shoots are green, and actually this one stays pretty dark. Uh, anyway, so let's head back outside and uh, clean out the pond some more. So, um, we moved the goby. Put the goby in the back. The, the log I was using, it was a long ways. Broke. So this is what I've done. I used the outside water that was green, somewhat filtered. I'm going to put some of these guys in here. I don't know if that'll focus on them or not. But anyway. Uh, probably a dozen or so. Maybe a little more than that. And pretty much. I want to get more growth. Out of the philodendron. With these guys most likely. But um. Put your doors on the side or the back if possible. No, you don't get the bar in front of you. Let's go finish this part. See, um, the pond is not finished draining. I probably will have to kill the pump of where this crack is located up in this area maybe not i might be able to just put something there to block it like a block but uh you see water coming back in because that spot is not good um yeah snails i hate these things I think these are a Malaysian something. I'm not too sure. And I'm, I don't really care to look it up on these. I just know I'm not taking them anywhere, releasing them. They're in my yard. And that's it. Fertilizer for the plants is freaking calcium. It'll break down uh, in, with the roots once they get buried over time. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Sounds good. Okay, you can see right there. That's not a crack over there. Let's see. It's not a crack over there. That's where I put um, flex seal tape over it once before. Feels really nicely. You can see glue that came out of the side. Not a big deal. Um, however, pushing water back in and not having a dry surface is an issue. I mean, that's, that's a good sized chunk right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the pump. So I'll wait a couple minutes. Damn, I need more dirt under it. These corners had blocks. You'd think the dirt would fill in over time, but no, not really. 
like it. Who knows where it goes? Who knows where it goes? Yeah, the tank's healthy as hell. I don't know, something's eating those, because that one, oh, that's not those. <laughs> um, yeah, I think those are actually a water plant, and they should be in the pond. But at the same time, I also believe that there's enough shading, other plants here, that I have enough moisture in the soil to keep those alive. We'll see. I mean, I got things... I did not spread this shit. I don't know what happened. I, this shit I hate. I did do that many, many, many years ago. And it's a nightmare to get out. But this stuff, this is one of my succulent things. And it got over here and it's just been doing its thing ever since. If it repels weeds, I'd be happy. But it won't. Weeds will just grow in it. Just like what's happening now. I come out here, I pull all this shit on the regular problem is you know, it takes up a lot of time a job a job in itself this is a job because nobody wants to do this shit um, this freaking clovers I can get fertilizer for them but how many other plants are actually going to be affected by the same not fertilizer but um, herbicide how many other plants are going to be affected? Yeah, this shit I hate. And really, I've had very successful luck. Um, the dogs assist in a lot of this. I toss them out here. The dogs trample. Uh, we've had the dogs with us for the past week. So we have grass growing again. Somewhere. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's just what it is. Oh shit, did I put that plant in here? Okay, so... Oh no, I didn't. This was my um, succulent garden. I might rebuild this. Oh look, I have a mother of a thousand still. They were over there and all died off. My mom hates these things. I kind of like them. They do grow out of control. But, um... Damn. If that grew in an aquarium just like that, that'd be cool as hell. But unfortunately, I could put it in the aquarium and it won't do that. It'd be like that long and have two or three in there. Uh, yeah, what's that? Looks like a uh, lantana. I hate those things too. Some of these Florida plants are like really annoying. If you live in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. You don't really want to just collect anything. <laughs> it's uh, not ideal. Soil you bring, seeds. Seeds have things you don't want. If you don't pay attention to it for a couple weeks, boom, everything's out of control. So. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to the pond situation. I think it's low enough right now that I can kill the pump. Put the hose back in here from draining. <clears throat> I don't have to catch everything in here, which is nicer. <laughs> um I haven't really considered this part yet. See all the sand that gets in there? It's from dogs flipping their bullshit in. Lights get covered. You gotta clean these things off. I just use my fingernail most of the time. And I'm not even gonna clean it all off this time. Um, I've got an albino pleco somewhere. Oh shit. Looks like he went through the filter and came out back out. This isn't the same one either. Oh man. Yep, that's an issue. Okay, so. Fuck. One less. Damn. Ah, he may have swam up in there. What the fuck? Wonder when that happened. Okay, that's not the same one though. 
unless he came out the filter. Shit, that sucks. There was one in here, and the other day he vanished, and I probably went right through the filter. Fuck. Yep, you get to hear it, and that's why my channel is not suitable for kids. That really sucks. Cause that just happened too. He was stuck in there, wedged. And I guarantee he went through that filter and the head got stuck and flipped his body around. That really sucks. I've got three more of these. But the one in here was growing really, really quick. That thing, that thing is so powerful, it's an issue. I may have to come up with a fix if I can put a bag around it instead of in it. That sucks. That really sucks. Man. That's so weird though, I wonder if when my pressure... There's no space up in there either, really. But that is what I wonder. Fuck. Damn it, man, I really... I want those things too. I've got three left. Albino bristle nose. That blows, really. See how much water I lost because I did not take that out. I did not want to move that shit because of the plants. I have a slight feeling that the other bristle nose is still alive. And that was one of the two, but not the second one. One of them vanished. We just kind of lost him. And the fact that it was in here may mean that he just fucking wedged himself under that and. I mean, it was in there. Damn. You see, my dogs aren't the only ones to trample these things. Ugh. Ugh. I do it too. I need that thing to go that direction. Damn. <sighs> All right. Um, I guess that does mean I clean the filter since I did this. This is moss that um, really has been filtering a lot of fucking dirt. Lots. I'm gonna put some of this in the back too. I need it. I need more of it. So we'll be back. Since I came back here, I've been doing this the other night. I was working on this. And this is uh, basically, uh, this was sitting out on my front yard um, since I got it. And I said, you know what? If it's gonna rot, let's put it in the backyard. You can see it's not level right now. It's not really a big deal for the situation right <laughs> at the current time. Um, filthy so i just put chlorine filled this up a little more this one down here i just filled up all the way earlier today there's a lot of filth in it really i'm gonna leave it um it's some salt water it's from my tank inside i figured i'd uh put it out here and see what happens just kind of leave it see if anything starts growing um I don't know what I'm going to do at this time other than that. Maybe toss it 
old uh, salt water in the tank because I did a full full water change and this will keep rain off of it for the most part um if you can see the rocks from that tank I dumped here I've been slowly uh, they're, they're filthy they got plastic and other bullshit in them so I've been slowly sifting through it and just boop tossing handfuls in there um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do aerator wise on these or whatever. I may run some more hoses out. Um, I just, I haven't decided yet. Um, I mean, right now, I, everything's a mess. I've just been bringing my containers out of the garage and setting them out here. Um, this pond <sighs> sprung a leak again. I put some flex seal over it, couldn't, or flex tape over it. I couldn't cover it all the way. And actually, you can see right there, I got leaking coming out of it. Um, I gotta hit it from the inside. Inside's the proper spot. Um, there is some on the inside, but my crack ended up splitting up higher. So, yeah, higher. So, that's the situation I've got right now. It is retaining some water. It'll go down to, the, to that point, and then basically just kind of sit. I haven't worried about it. There's a lot of Cuban. You can see the tadpoles right now. Little minnows are in there as well. I keep moving the minnows. I'll end up putting uh, one or two minnows in each of these tanks. And that purpose is not really that purpose really isn't for anything special, not reproducing, stuff like that. These are honestly just regular sailfin molly. There's, they're not liar tail or anything. I mean, there could be a liar tail or two in there, but um, it's not our liar tail batch. It was a female that was in with my liar tail, so I was trying to reproduce. So all the babies did come from an offspring or my liar tail male. So maybe there are some, whatever. We haven't seen them yet. Um, I put three in here Mos again mosquito control that's all this is um, and I haven't dumped this I guess I put four in here you see them down in there right down in there I put some of my um, barking tree frogs in here wow that doesn't look like a barking how did he get in here too look at that is it it might be. Um, from here, it doesn't look like one. Which has me like, why? How did I get in here? Okay, so. Oh, maybe it was one. I've got another container over here with quite a few too. I'm going to reproduce these to where they're in the neighborhood and other neighborhoods because I'm going to ride around Jacksonville really soon. So I had a few in here and they turned different colors. So I put more in here. And uh, I tossed a bunch of food. And yeah, we might have to take a few out. But um... I don't know just yet. <clears throat> they seem to be pretty lively. They've been in here like two days. So, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just one project on top of all the other little things. I mean, this is the tadpole project. I would like to see these as a native species in the neighborhood. I would like to be able to eradicate any of the Cuban tree frogs around my house. Um, this year, next year, gonna be rough because I got I got tadpoles everywhere. Um, I've already dumped a couple tanks of tadpoles because I knew they were Cuban Cuban tree frogs. Um, there's yeah, that's the frog pond, and even there's a leopard dude climbs up everything and jumps in here, which is cool. Um, in there, there's some bluefin killifish. 
That's usually what I use in my tanks to keep down the mosquito control. They reproduce really easy. They don't need filter with like a 10 gallon. You can definitely put two in and they'll reproduce. Um, I don't know, they're just easy. That was the ick tank. Whatever's in there has been in there for years is I haven't added to other than a couple plants. Um, most of those plants have been reproducing. This I added because I had so much of it. And now I'm um, trying to really just get it to reproduce on this. It's a tank, you can see algae growth. We don't want that. Actually, that destroys everything. Every bit of it won't be able to be used because of that. We'll see how much more of that gets out of control, though. Let's see what happens. Um, there it is, guys. Future projects that are going on right around the house. This will hopefully be cleaned up the next time I show y'all it. <laughs> um. 150 on the side. I still got my rocks laid out. Um, told you I have tadpoles everywhere. There's tadpoles in here, but I didn't focus on this. This had a lot of Cuban tree frogs. A lot of Cuban tree frog tadpoles. Um, so I dumped like that right there. There's one. <sighs> oh well. Um, I dumped a bunch of the, uh, a few of the barking tree frogs in here because I didn't do that a whole bunch because. Well, this overflows from the, the roof. Overflow. So anyway, it splashes down here and this overflows. Um, it's pretty much a graveyard for anything in here. There's bluefin killifish in here. They're generally, they stay lower than some of these other critters. Right. So, I'm able to keep them in there for the mosquito control. You wanna see the patio? You wanna see what I got going on? Here's all the rocks I got from this aquarium situation. Well, not all, I'm using some. Some are, well, most of them. Uh, NC rocks I got as well. Um, we popped the air mattress. This is the last tank I have of bristle nose catfish. See them on the back, back there. I'm afraid to really move them anywhere. They've been doing so damn well. Um, we did, weren't able to keep all of them I put in here because they just, they they weren't super healthy at, to begin with. They weren't fat at least, they were healthy, but they weren't fat. Um, so, I put some ick, ick control in there. And hopefully that will combat my little catfish friend in here having white spots. Ooh, I don't even see him. And I still can't identify him. And again, that thing was thought to be a pleco. When you're found, let's take this off. <laughs> it was thought to be a pleco when he was found. And earlier, like I said, I had some spots. Was that his tail? And as you can see, I put more barking tree frogs out here. It's all these are, and they're much bigger. They love this green stuff. This tank doesn't really get full sun, but. see the catfish all right well hopefully none of the tadpoles actually ate him that would be very unfortunate here's one of the other plecos one of the wild ones i just got 
looks nice and healthy too. Alright, so let's get back out of the pond and see how that's going. Here's what's going on. So the water's flowing around and back over here. So I'm not going to be able to clearly take it all off, but I'm going to put my patch in a way that's right next to that. And um, hopefully we won't have any future cracking. It is going to change my... There's got to be a suction underneath in a way. So it's hard to get off. <laughs> I don't have any nails right now. I usually do in some sort of way. All right, so we only tear a little bit because it's sticky as hell. And I'm going to do this um, like this, I guess. Yeah. Oh, fudge. It didn't stick on the first go, which means it's too damp still. And I have water dripping down. Yes, I may have needed to dry it a little more. I didn't have any issues in um, on the other pond with sticking. Actually, I didn't have any issues over there either. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to hold it here for five, ten minutes, whatever... Um, couple minutes <laughs> not five minutes definitely not gonna be here for ten it does not look good it's not wanting it to stick at all so I'm gonna have to dry this more I'm gonna have to come back uh, reapply some because it's definitely it's not gonna work th at this rate <sighs> I can see that now I think <clears throat> may have just cracked it more too. All this water flowing back in is an issue. I'm gonna have to wait till all that's drained, I guess. Because as you can see, it's just gonna keep coming down. Um, <sighs> Fucking blows, guys. I mean, you see it. There's no suction there. No stick whatsoever. Alright, so we're going to try this again. Might be able to reuse that, actually. Once it dries. Not here. Somewhere else. So, like I said, we're going to have to dry this completely. I may come out and I may scratch it a little bit with uh, something to clean it completely. Which I've never really had an issue, but obviously I do. You can see it's gonna split this way. This one will split down, so I wanna put it farther than what it'll split. All right, let's do this again. We're gonna try this again, guys. You get to see it in all its glory, all its fails, all its attempts. Looks pretty dry now, right? All right, well, we hope. We can only Fish are anxious to have their water running again. Why can I not get this off? Because I'm grabbing tape. Holy crap. I wonder if my tape is bad. I've only had it for a while. Uh, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Again, I wanted to put it further down. And you want to pull the tape best you can as you go. Good. My crack is right there, ending. If you don't pull it as you go, you won't be able to mush all your creases. Uh. 
Uh, I probably had damn leaf in y'all's way the whole entire time. And I'm sorry for that. It is um, just part of it, I guess. And actually, it probably wasn't even aimed down. Uh, it's all part of this learning. Learning process. <laughs> this is the whole thing. Um, I'm going to leave this for a few minutes. I'd like to squeeze out my edges as well. And really it's that simple. There's nothing more to it. You make sure your surface is dry. You make sure clean. Like I said, I like to push out my edges. You see the tape come or glue coming out here. I feel that does a better job in the long run. I haven't seen any side effects yet of doing that. Anyway, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna leave it for a couple minutes. Let everything bond in whatever way it does. And we're gonna get out here and fill the pond back up. Get everything flowing again. Yeah, I guess I will clean this as well. Rawr. Very jammed and filthy. Usually, usually it's a um, hell of a lot easier than that. Well, it is nice that it is jammed because it won't open underwater. It is not nice when trying to open it. You know how many fish I lose in this thing? Little fish all the freaking time. In fact, I can clean this over there this time. Excuse me, Rebel. Excuse me, girl. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Watch out, Rebel. Watch out, girl. Back up. You don't, well, y'all don't know, but uh, I don't think I said it yet. She smells like complete shit. She jumps the fence, so we have to keep her chained up. Um, and, you well, know, she found something over there that really stinks. And that's her thing. She likes to find things that stink and roll in them. All right guys, so check this. That little um, bristle nose that I just had in here is now being consumed by channeled apple snail. Pretty crazy. I think so. I think so. All right, so I think that's gonna probably be okay. 
Hard to say. We'll find out. I can always repatch it. It's not that hard when it drains to this level almost every day. Well, at least recently. Uh, Alright, so let's get this thing filled. All right, guys, I think we're gonna stop there. Uh, I only have so much stress coat to remove the chlorine, and I'm not gonna put it in the pond tonight. Within 12, 24 hours-ish, chlorine will be gone, evaporated out and cycled, so it's no big deal. Um, probably fill it later this evening. Um, so, let's always fix the, uh, the hole. Should stay, I waited long enough. Um, I got all these things put back in the pond. And yeah, everything's uh, going well. I do want to move my fish a little bit so it'll reproduce better, but um, we don't have to do that right now because of the uh, that patch. So it'll be. We'll see how long it uh, takes before we find another leaf or another issue. Until next time guys, appreciate you watching, like, subscribe, and um, stay safe.